Extraction number one. And the first of the uh, three crew members now being extracted uh, from the Soyuz vehicle. Extremely fast, just 11 minutes since touchdown. So this is the commander. And you're looking at uh, Soyuz commander Fyodor Yurchikin being brought uh, to his uh, chair near the spacecraft. Yurchikin uh, having landed uh, to uh, log 537 days in space on his four flights. He conducted three spacewalks during Expedition 36 and 37, the last one being back in August. We still have time. Would you mind raising the torch? Show it to everybody. In Russia, again, uh, Fyodor Yurchikin holding the Olympic torch uh, over the past few days uh, and few weeks, in fact, in the build up to the launch of the torch to the International Space Station. The torch uh, had a virtual monopoly on publicity surrounding uh, this uh, bevy of activity aboard the International Space Station. But now, with the crew uh, safely back on Earth, uh, the torch. Uh, receives its share of publicity once again. Number there is the logo for the 2014 Sochi Olympic Organizing Committee, Sochi.ru 2014, the same logo that was emblazoned on the uh, payload fairing of the Soyuz rocket that carried uh, Mikhail Turin, Rick Mastracchio, and Koichi Wakata to the International Space Station just four days ago. Look on the other side. And there is uh, Karen Nyberg uh, having been extracted. Uh, she will be placed in her chair, leaving Luca Parmitano uh, as the third and final crew member to be uh, removed from the Soyuz vehicle. So you're cheeking out holding the Olympic torch uh, to his right, uh, Karen Nyberg. Uh, and uh, necessitated uh, the movement of uh, the launch date of the uh, newest three crew members uh, to the International Space Station by about three weeks, uh, that uh, vicissitude of life uh, necessitating uh, the launching of uh, the latest crew uh, on November 7th to bring the Olympic torch to orbit uh, for a four-day out-of-this-world relay to the International Space Station and back to Earth. Once uh, Parmitano is out of the vehicle and has an opportunity, and there he is, Luca Parmitano with a big thumbs up, carried uh, out of the Soyuz uh, spacecraft uh, to his chair by the, by the capsule. Uh, all three crew members uh, will be hoisted uh, in their chairs a short time from now and brought into the inflatable medical tent nearby where they will receive uh, initial medical tests They'll uh, receive assistance in uh, help being helped out of their uh, Sokol launch and entry suits. Fist pumps, handshakes, and a wave to the crowd from Luca Parmitano from the European Space Agency, uh, completing his first flight into space, 166 days in orbit, 70.3 million miles in his journey along with his crewmates. These three crew members uh, will board uh, Russian helicopters uh, about an hour and a half or so from now uh, for a two-hour ride back to the uh, initial staging city for the search and recovery operations in Karaganda, Kazakhstan. Karen Nyberg, home from her second flight into space, having logged 180 days in space on her two missions, the first of which aboard the space shuttle, 
to deliver the uh, Japanese Kibo module to the International Space Station.